Good afternoon. Uh, I think you all know the speaker. Uh, you may not know me. Uh, my name is Terry Johnson. Uh, I represent the 90th District uh, down in Southern Ohio. I'm um, uh, accompanied today by Al Landis, who's uh, Vice Chair of our Veterans Affairs Committee, Military and Veterans Affairs Committee, and uh, the rest of these folks, my colleagues, are all veterans, and I couldn't be prouder of them. Um, the special challenges that we've had in the global war on terror have done nothing but exacerbate the treatment of our veterans. Uh, we now have a, a, a medical system in the military second to none. Uh, you know, the United States has led the way in military technology in taking care of soldiers and airmen and Marines, our Navy personnel, uh, and our wars. Uh, every war seems to advance our ability to take care of folks. We've had a lot of injuries on the battlefield, a lot of deaths, but those injuries compound when you can get more people off the battlefield and save their lives uh, than you could before. So that means that a lot of the wounded folks we have now would not have been saved previously. Uh, so they have very complex issues. And you bring them back to a system that's overburdened like ours is, and you very quickly wind up with a situation that is frankly unacceptable. We make a contract with our military personnel when we put them in the field. We tell them, go and defend our nation, and when you come home, we will take care of you and your family. Uh, you go back to the famous quote by Abraham Lincoln about taking care of the widow and the orphan. We have an obligation. We cannot turn from it. And just because our system is overwhelmed right now, uh, we can't accept that. Uh, so we urge the President of the United States, we urge the Veterans Administration to do all they can to rectify the situation as quickly as possible. 